What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco Delia and today I want to speak about the PT fragrances. So PT fragrance is one of the main exposition and place event that takes place here in Italy in Florence once every year. There is the PT uh, fashion and there is the PT fragrance. This is the first time that I go to the PT fragrance because I was invited. This time since I'm uh, going more and more into the um, cosmetic self-care and fragrance world so I went there to collaborate with brands to start new collaborations to speak about um, some opportunities to meet people and network with other people I met also Jeremy for a while I met some influencers from Italy and I just went there and smelled everything from, from for one day so I spent one day there there were some good brands some nice brands some not so good brands uh, some new ones ones that really stood out for me was a Hong Kong brand called uh, Tobba or something like that. One fragrance that it's the one that hit me the most was Force, called Force. And then I also received some fragrances there, some samples uh, that if you want to check out, I'm going to make some videos and live streamings on my TikTok and on my Instagram if you want to check them out. And also if you want to check out the complete blog in Italian though, it's uh, about the PT fragrance is in my pre in my first YouTube channel, so the link is down in the description. But I received a couple free fragrances, a candle and some other products, and then brands are going to give me more fragrances coming soon. So they are going to ship the fragrances, but right there, people that I met already at Exxons or people that I knew or new brands that wanted to collaborate just gave me new fragrances. So today I want to uh, show you these three niche fragrances that actually hit me and the candle that I received. Let me start with the first one. So I'm going to uh, give you an explanation on how this happened. The first one is by Welton and this is Welton Lod London Wood Inspiration. This is the fragrance that actually I like the most during these days that I didn't know. Also with Force, but Force was more of a something new, something very different because it's very usual to find always the same fragrances, but this one actually got me impressed it was not at the expo it was not at the pt but after the first day of pt we were invited me and other influencers at his house this mr welton house he's a very nice man that actually worked with john galliano um, karl lagerfeld uh, christian lacroix and other very huge people in the fashion industry and in the cosmetic industry and now he created his own brand welton london he invited us and some other people to just have uh, enjoy our times and uh, he showed our his fragrances his collections and also other uh, things that he created for example the candles and his stories and he shared uh, some things there were music it was a very nice high class event and in the end at the end of the event at night time uh, when we went away they just gave us this little gift which contained the, frag the, the candle, which is amazing. I love candles. Uh, if you follow me on social media, you know I love candles. Can't wait to test it out. It's, it was in collaboration with Christian Lacroix, so that, that, that's amazing. A soap that I can't wait to try as well, a luxury soap. And then this fragrance, Wood Inspiration. So this is the end of my <laughs> experience at Pitti. Now let's concentrate only on the fragrances. So Wood Inspiration is a very nice, inky, woody, kind of ambery type of a fragrance. It smells almost like a black, woody tea. So it's sensual, but at the same time, it's very professional. It's very luxurious, high class. You can smell that it's a English, dreamy type of a fragrance but it's very nice, I can't, I can't stop smelling it. This is the Eau de Toilette, I know uh, they also have other types of concentrations, but this is so good, this is a discovery, and I'm glad they gave us this, because I didn't know this, uh, this part of the brand. They showed us different others, uh, different collections, but this collection, I didn't know it, and this fragrance is so good. Performance is nice, 
not the best one ever. It lasts, but it's very sensual. I really like it and professional as well. These are not sponsored, guys. These are just my opinions. Then the second fragrance that I received, and then I'm gonna show you the third and my favorite one, which is also my favorite fragrance at the moment for this period of the year. Right now, the second one though is this fragrance, Twilight Safari Collection by Azalea Paris. And this fragrance, they saw me, uh, like I went there, I tried some fragrances with the hostess, with the stewards, and after, the owner, which is a Middle Eastern company, I think. They saw me with Jeremy and other people. They decided to give me a bottle as well. I didn't know which bottle to take, so I tried real quick some different fragrances, and this one was the one that hit me the most. It's kind of a musky, fresh type of a fragrance, almost molecular, white, azure type of a fragrance. Very nice, performance is not bad. It's not super particular, it's not something crazy, like the character is not so different from other things. It's musky, a little ambery and floral, but fresh. Yes, it's a fresh fragrance, but not summery. A little niche -y. Yes, it's, it's not bad, it's not something that I would die for. But the third one, which is also the my favorite fragrance at the moment, it's by um, a man that I know, he was the guy that actually uh, invited me, like made me enter the Exans Expo, and he also makes fragrances. He's a very uh, big guy in the industry here in Italy. He created his line about the tuberose, and his new release, he released it not so long ago. He made me smell the fragrance when I was at Exans a few months ago, and I fell in love so much with it because it's such a different type of fragrance that I never smelled before. There was something in it that I couldn't just stop thinking about it. And when I went to a couple of niche stores here around my where, where I live, I found it again, spread it again, and God, it's so good. And also it lasts so long and people notice it a lot. And I also, since I met a lot of people and I started networking a lot and the Exans event boosted my career. So I associated also mentally that um, smell because I smelled it, I had it on my arm for the entire day. And besides all the fragrances that I sprayed, that one was the one that was more smellable, uh, the strongest one. So I associated it with the idea of success and meeting new people and yes. So the now when I met him again here at the uh, Pitti, he told me, oh, how are you? How is it going? And I said, you know what? Your fragrance, this fragrance is so good. I can't stop thinking about it. You did a great job. And he told me, oh yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. So if you want to, I have one here extra, so I will give it to you. I said, yes, please. <laughs> and the fragrance is Christian Cavagna, Murice Imperiale, which is this big seashell uh, with a tuberose. So it's an oceanic type of a fragrance, but not as you think. Uh, it's not ozonic. It doesn't smell salty. It doesn't smell like, the, like water. Yes, it smells like water, but on a sweet floral tuberose, scent which is very niche oh it's so good like it's very hard to find something so different in the fragrance industry man i'm in love with this scent this is so good it has a banana leaves it has fruity oceanic niche types of vibes but very elegant at the same time and it's so strong and loud but not sweet in a sugary way, but or, or or feminine way, but more in a natural way. It's very natural. I don't know, guys. You just have to try it. If you find it, just try it because it's amazing. So that's it, guys. This is the these are the free fragrances that I received at Pitti. I also received some other samples, but and also I will receive other fragrances. But I'm going to make other videos. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about them and DM me on Instagram if you want. Um, to ask me anything and I'll see you in the next videos.